Hi guys, let's look at um, Visual Basic 6.0. I wish to take you through how to create reports. So basically, for you to create a report, you must go to the project window here and ensure that data environment is active and also add data report is active. In most cases, especially if you are using higher windows like Windows 10, this one will not be available. So guys, what you need to do is to go to project, then you go to add environment. So once you do that, uh, this is the, 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 you will get uh, data environment one. So you right click here, then you just go to uh, add, com add command like that. Then once you do add command, you right click on this one again. Uh, let's just pull this. You go to properties. Then once you go to properties, you are now redirecting this one to your uh, database. So here you choose table or view if you are using queries. So you can use view. You'll be in a position to see uh, if you, you use that is table, you are supposed to see the connection. But uh, in case you cannot get the connection here, you need first of all to do something on this. Go to connection one here, go to properties. Then once you go to properties, here you choose uh, you choose Microsoft Jet 4.0, then go to next. Then here, select or enter the database. Now we are connecting to the database. So our database is called SOMIR, and then you test the connection, and then you click on OK. So guys, when now you go to this point, command one, right click, go to properties, then now you are in a position to go to tables. You are in a position to see the tables. If you go to views, uh, you are in a position to see the queries. So, so these are the queries. So now I want to use the employee query for that case. So I click on apply and then OK. When you go to this point, guys, you will be in a position now to see all the fields available in the, the, uh, the fields that are available in the database. So the next thing to do is to go up there to project window, then you go to add data report. So once you do that, add data report, you'll be in a position to see a data report added. This is the data report, guys, here. So I am just now supposed to drag and drop these fields. Now I can just cross this one. I record them when I want them. So here, uh, in this point, I can now drag and drop, you see? I can drag and drop uh, this stuff here. So you just need to do that uh, here. So this is the this is the the header here. So this one you can take it up there. There. Then this one is the text box. But this is the rebel, this is the text box. Again, that is the employee number. I need the employee name. So I click outside to separate them. Then uh, pick this one up here to the page section then this one i now take this one to where i want so i just take that one there again let me say i want to take the department so i bring the department here i click outside then i also pick this one up there like that then department i bring the department there then i just scroll a bit now i want to have the total pay so i bring the total pay there then i pull this up there then this one is taken there. Then the next thing, after doing this, you need to come to this point, the page footer, you pull it upwards up to that point. Then once you are done with that one, you can have the, the report header by going to this point here. This is the report label. So I can just draw the report label here. Then I can give the caption by clicking on properties. Then you go to caption here. So I, I can now type the heading. The heading is uh, employee, employees details report. Then I need to align it to center. So just come to this point, center. Then font, I click the three dots, then increase the font like that. So once I'm done with that one, uh, any manipulations you can do using the data report. Now I need to populate this, so I save it first of all data report one then env data environment should be saved as one then after doing that one i needed to see whether my project 
report is running so I just go to properties then I set I set it as startup here yeah, so data report one then I click on OK then I run uh, the next thing you notice that um, once I run uh, there is invalid data source so uh, we need we needed to fix that by going to this point property sheet click the report the data report go to this point then data source here data source should be data environment one probably you have not seen that but this is data environment one then you can choose the data member is command one so don't forget that the data source is data environment one data member is command one that is command one here because you can also add another command you see so you may have command two connecting to another table like for example if uh, you connect the next table here uh, if you connect the next table here by going to properties you see now it will be uh, going to table then i choose uh, rog tracking apply okay you see now command two data command two will be having different fields from data command one so that's the difference then guys after doing that you can just run it there we are you notice that uh, my report has been successively uh, uh, it has been successively made then the print command is just here so just hit on print and the work is printed so guys thank you very much for watching remember to subscribe remember to share and also remember uh, to